next time show with Jack and Mazzini. Now before I get on with the, uh, the features of the show and as usual, um, I'm just going to let you know that the last week's uh, feature that I have fe features on the show to join the Friday Night Movie Hunt and every other uh, thing I do on the show, the, the, the games that are releasing on Tuesdays, it's not always going to be with trailers. Such as tonight, it won't be with trailers because the huge amount of, of games. It will be with trailers, and I will pick a game that I like, and I put the trailer only if there is a game that I like. And yes, today there is no game I like. Okay, now let's get it on with the Friday night movie hunt of June the fourth. Of course, Friday tomorrow night. Let's get it on. We got three movies, and our first movie is entitled "Get Him to the Creek." Uh, starring Russell Brand and Ross Bryan. Let's check out the channel and we'll be right back. And we're back live on the Extreme Show with Jack and Mazzini. Live? We'll see about that. Now, with our second movie entitled Marmaduke, um, it's, uh, the dog's voice is on um, Owen Wilson and his friend, uh, the other dog, is. Uh, uh, the voice of George Lopez. Let's check out the trailer and we'll be right back on the Extreme Show with Jack and Mazzini. Welcome back to the Extreme Show. Now the third movie, uh, you have seen the star of that movie hosting Monday Night Raw, this very previous episode of Monday Night Raw, and uh, decided or uh, elected the idea or suggested the idea of viewers choice for next week when I draw we have more information on that on the wrestling section therefore let's check out the trailer of killers and right before that um oh that's right I said the name of the star Ashton Kutcher alright let's check out the trailer and we'll be right back welcome back now these three summer blockbuster movies that you have seen in trailers will premiere tomorrow night Friday June the 4th now, as announced last week and as was uh, directed last week on the Extreme Show with the games that are releasing on Tuesdays, and now we've got eight games, so let's get it on. First off, we've got Alpha Protocol, uh, exclusively on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. Number two, we've got Diamond Trust of London, exclusively on DS, Nintendo DS that is. Number three, we've got the, SM the SIMS 3. And you know that, the life experience game, that's so amazing. Um, we have the SMS 3 and then we have subject to that game. So we, we kind of have to the original SMS 3 to play this game. And it's entitled Ambitions, exclusively on PC as usual. Um, number 4 we've got Back Breakers, and that's a hockey game I guess, no? Was it a football game? I don't know. Anyway, bad guy. <laughs> oh, can I say again that I don't know what I'm talking about? Let's move on. It's Backbreaker and it's exclusively on PS3 and Xbox 360. We've got number five, Bass Pro uh, Shops, The Hunt, exclusively on Wii and Xbox 360. Number six, we've got Siphon Filter, uh, Legions, Shadow, uh, and it's exclusively on PC, PS2. And we've got Planet Mini Golf, exclusively on PlayStation 3. And last but not least, Wizardology, or, Wizard or Wizardology, I don't know which one's the right one, and it is exclusively on Nintendo D. I don't know how I don't know what uh, the game Backbreaker is. I don't know, it's it a hockey or a football. I think it's a football. Anyways, I apologize for that. And now with the WWE, but before the WWE, um, as you have seen on TNA Impact last week, um, at, the, at the end of the night, the shake of the hand by Jeff Hardy to Mr. Anderson, um, I'm seeing a new team being born, and I think that the Charismatic Enigma and the A-Hole is a nice team, and we'll see what will happen tonight on Impact at or on uh, Spike TV. Moving on with the WWE as usual, we've got Hardy's Out. As you've seen Friday Night Smackdown last week, um, Drew McIntyre again with a letter in his hand, uh, brought it to uh, Theodore Long, he read it and it said, uh, due, due to the actions of Matt Hardy at Over the Limit, he is 
so, so, uh, he is uh, not fired. He just got suspended to, uh, to for further notice. But he was uh, live on WNXT this past Tuesday. But I don't know what's the deal. Is he gone now? Is he suspended or not? We will see what will happen um, on Friday Night SmackDown for more info. Let's go on now. We've got. We will own Monday Night Raw next week live, three hours live on USA Network. I said live twice. Forget that. Raw plus SmackDown on the same show. We control the show. Is it really us controlling the show? Or is it just like what they do to, uh, on Cyber Sunday or I don't know, they called it the one before. It was, um, yeah, Cyber Tuesday. Yeah, um, is it really us controlling? Or is just a segment by the lead to get us uh, to get more ratings and more viewers to the show? Well, in my mind, it won't be completely under my hand, under our hands. But we'll see what will happen next Monday and this uh, full of action night promised by Bret Hart and uh, did Mr. Mac promise that too? I don't know. We'll see what will happen. But that was a nice suggestion by Ashton Kutcher, a star of Killers, which will premiere tomorrow night. Let's move on. Now, the NXT season finale was this past Tuesday, and I was pulling for Justin Gabriel, but as you have seen, he was the first to get out of the, of the competition. Then David Otunga left the, the show, and your winner and your new WWE breakout star, and who will face, I don't know, John Cena on a pay-per-view? We'll see who will stay champion. I don't know if he will ch choose a major champion guy. He might just choose our truth for U.S. title or Kofi Kingston for the Intercontinental Champion Championship. Now, Wade Barrett. I seriously don't like that guy or how he looks or how he even wrestles. I don't know how he got uh, number one ranking for several weeks. But if you see the WWE Universe poll. Justin Gabriel ranks first, and he is the far, I mean, he is the most lovable and popular guy on NXT. But now, about uh, the NXT season 2 that will premiere to, uh, next week on Tuesdays, of course, it will continue till season 1 million. <laughs> anyway, but all the pros and uh, are new to the show, but except one, and that is them is what he, he sucks. When he comes on the TV, we turn it off. He takes to, uh, he takes ratings right down because the mist simply sucks. And the, and his rookie, he sounds like and he looks like uh, the mini Miz or is he bigger than Miz? I don't know, but we'll see what will happen next Tuesday. Now before I end up the show. What happens to Daniel Bryan, as you've seen him, he was sitting with the rest of the, uh, the lefties of the NXT, the ones who got out the NXT competition. What happened between him and Michael Cole? Did they close that story? And what happens between The Miz and Daniel Bryan? Huh? Any thoughts? As you have seen Daniel Bryan defeat uh, The Miz on this previous episode of Monday Night Raw. But I really think that Dan O'Brien is uh, already made WWE superstar, and if they just give him the shine, give him the chance, he will shine and bring them ratings. Cause he's also a great submission guy, submission machine. That is, that is um, Dan O'Brien. That's it for the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. I also would like to thank you for supporting me. I don't know if you have supported me. Uh, that's a joke. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Hope to watch, hope to watch you know. Hope that you will watch me next Thursday on the next show. And I'm out.